Oh, so hi guys. Um, I think the turnout today um is a little bit low. It's only around eleven people, so I mean that's fine. I'm just gonna wait for um you know a little bit more people to join. And uh, some people in the chat have been asking about the tutoring. And um yeah, the tutoring um will start around um uh, let me see. Yeah, well, we scheduled it to start around uh, September 5th and 6th. Yeah, it starts in September 5th and 6th. And um, yeah, we're just gonna wait for like one more minute to, uh, to see if many more people would join and uh, we'll get started soon. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys, we'll go ahead and get started right now. So, guys, welcome, guys, welcome to Numerally's um, competition math session number 10. Um, uh, first of all, I would just like to say a big, big thanks to everyone who um, just were with us for this whole time. I mean, um, this, would, this was Numerally's first ever, uh, you know, uh, course with, it, with competition math. And, um, you know, the turnout rate was really, really good. And, um, yeah, I would just like to say thank you so, so much for everyone who joined. And, um, yeah, and we still have, um, we have today's class. And we have uh, two more classes after this. And as promised, uh, these two classes will be mostly on um, algebra and algebra related tricks. So yeah, let's get started, I guess. So today's trick, uh, today's two tricks are going to be basically um, related to um, just the basics of algebra. It's going to be um, multiplying um, binomials, and it is going to be uh, trying to um, solve system of equations in, in an easy, fast way. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Let me get my whiteboard out. I'm gonna get my whiteboard out really quickly and I'll go ahead and show this for you. So, uh, those of you guys who um, just joined, uh, welcome. And uh, for um, uh, most people, uh, a lot of people have been asking about um, our tutoring sessions. Our, our tutoring sessions will start on uh, September 5th and 6th. And they will go on um, every every uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, so on. So if you guys didn't attend the orientation, I think the orientation um, the orientation uh, video should be up on YouTube soon. But yeah, we will we will uh, give you a, give you up. Yeah, um, and one more thing I want to ask you. So um, yesterday or uh, yesterday for yesterday, I sent I actually sent a mass email. I, I sent him kind of mass email to all the uh, participants that have signed up for new release for, for both um, competition math, Python, um, and tutoring. And there were around 350 people that I sent the um, email to. So I just wanted to know, did you guys get the email? Because um, it's just some people who are not able to access it. So were you guys like generally able to get the email uh, and, uh, you know, look at it or was it? Okay. And most people say, um, I got it, but some people said. Uh, was the email sent to the parents or the? Um, it, it was actually sent out to the uh, to the emails that we got when you guys were actually um you know signing up. So like in the Google Forms. So uh, whichever email you put in there, that's the email that we uh actually sent it out to. So I uh, know your parents might have gotten it, but um yeah, just just tell your parents to uh you know uh show the show the uh, like um. Most of you guys went when they get it so that you guys are, uh, you know, pretty like, um, you know, updated and uh, as well. because we, we don't have uh, your email. We just have like, you know, your parents email or your email, like whichever email you put it. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get started. So, 
the actual class. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, okay, so um, everyone's able to see my screen. Okay, hopefully, um, it says loading, but um, yeah. Um, uh, someone asked me if I sent out the email yesterday. Um, actually, I sent it out uh, two days before I sent it uh, uh, yesterday. Actually, I sent out uh, uh, like a detailed email a day before yesterday, and I sent one out uh, yesterday too. So um, yeah, tell your parents to check. Now let's get started. So um, uh, as I said, our first, our, our are going to be um you know algebra based and they're going to be uh when uh, trick number one is going to be um how to uh, get uh, solve systemal equations and our trick number two is going to be how to multiply binomials so um you know a kind of hint in the uh, second time like a second um trick is that if you guys have a heard of the foil then you guys are on track for today's class mm, so let's get started so um yeah, so first I'm gonna like uh kind of uh do a review on um, last class. Oh actually, um I do not think I have a review for last class. So um did everyone like kind of understand what they did last class and um like kind of understand everything or? Yeah, so I think most of you guys uh, understood uh, last class's uh, you know, uh, thing because it's pretty easy. So we're just going to uh, jump right into our practice session of, of our practice part of today's class. So let's say, uh, yeah. so let's say you have the equation. Let's say you have the tree. Um, I guess there's something wrong with the. Okay. So, okay, so let's say you have the equation 3x plus 2y equals 13, okay? But since this is a system of equations, and there's two variables, one over here, one over here, in order to solve both of the equations, you need to, like, okay, so uh, for system of equations, one rule is that depending on how many variables you have, that's the number, number of equations you need to solve a system of equations. So in this case, we have a one variable over here and another over here. So that means we need two, we need two uh, equations to solve both of the um, uh, variables. So let's say the second equation is going to be four x plus seven y equals to twenty. So let's say this is a, this is these are the two equations. How do you go about solving for x and y? Uh, please put it in the chat, guys. How do you solve? How do you go about, uh, you know, solving these uh, equations? Yeah, Akash said um, he joined late because he had a school. I mean, that's totally fine. You know, this will always be in uh, YouTube, so you can always check that out. I'm sorry, guys, if, if this, uh, if these classes are uh, kind of like going uh, not right next to each other to your school. I'm very sorry about that. All right. Um, okay, so um, no, okay, so before I learn this trick, you know how I would solve this. So I would basically solve it like this. So um, I would I would multiply I would multiply this number by this number, right? By four, four, and I would multiply this whole equation by this number. Okay. If I do that, what I will get is I'll get oh for x value I'll get uh, I'll get twelve x plus um plus eight um eight y plus you know whatever this is and I'll get I'll also get twelve x plus uh twenty one y is equal to something that's over here and uh depending on where depending on where exactly you are in the country some teachers might tell you to um you you know uh do a um like multiply the whole equation by a negative number and one by a positive number so you'll get um, this and this so you can just um grab these and cancel them out right but uh you know um i actually learned this way but like the thing is you don't really have to it, like if like these negative numbers like kind of confuse you or something like that what you can do is um you don't have to multiply it by a negative number all you can do is you can do you can just do it by a positive number and instead of adding these two equations you can subtract these two equations 
And if you do subtract these two equations, it'll be, um, you know, 12, 12 x minus 12 x just don't just cancel out. And this will give you a negative number. And uh, this will also give me a negative number and I can just cancel these on negative out and I'll, I'll get a positive, okay? So like that. But the trick I'm gonna, but the trick I'm gonna teach you now is gonna be completely different from what you've learned in school. Yeah, it's going to be completely different in how you learn. Well, let's take the same equation, okay? 3x plus 2y equals 13. And 4x plus 7y equals 20. So the first step for you is you are going to write, write down, uh, write down x is equal to and you're going to put a big fraction line over here, okay that's your first first step okay the first step you're going to do is put a x equals to and put a huge um div division line okay then what you're going to do is in, in kind of the trick these middle numbers these numbers with the y variable are going to be your kind of main number so um so let's let's actually label it okay so um so in this um in this case, 2y and 7y are going to be main numbers, okay? They're going to be main numbers, okay? So actually, what you're going to do is... Uh, so the middle numbers are the main numbers? Yeah, exactly. So it, the middle numbers are the main numbers, okay? So um, is that... Did you guys kind of understand that? Yeah, okay. So the middle numbers are going to be... What you're gonna do is you're gonna first you're gonna consider let's consider this equation over here. And I'm going really slow over here because it's really really easy to get confused um, with these tricks. So it's really really easy to get confused. So that's the reason I'm going really really super slow. So okay. So um so these things the numbers uh, are gonna do. There's also gonna be pattern to this. But what the pattern is gonna be is it is going to be you're going to have a b and a x. Okay. This is gonna be your pattern, okay? You're gonna you're gonna be up, you're gonna have B and an upside down B, okay? Actually, I'm gonna write it. So the first step is gonna be taking this top number, and I'm just gonna put a dot over here so it's it's more clear. And I'm gonna take this number over here and multiply it by this number, okay? I'm gonna multiply two and twenty-six. And 2 times 26 is, of course, going to be 52. Okay? 52. Well, actually, let me write it down clearly. 52, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this number by this number. Okay? So you guys uh, are, are with me so far? So first, you're going to multiply um, you're gonna multiply 26 by 2. Then you're going to multiply 4 by 2. So um, right now for this, you don't really have to like, um, you know, um, pay attention to the uh, variables and stuff like that. It's just, just main numbers so far, okay? So uh, two, two times four is gonna be eight, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put an eight in the denominator, okay? So you're gonna, so you're gonna do uh, 26 times two in the numerator, and you're gonna do four times two in the denominator, okay? Okay? Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom main number, okay? So you're going to take the bottom main number. Then what we're going to do is you're going to multiply the bottom name main number by this number, okay? You're going to multiply 13 times 7. What we're going to do is you will get a answer of 91, okay? You're going to answer of 91, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom main number, and you're going to multiply it by this top one, okay? And multiply it by 3, okay? Then 7 times 3 is, of course, going to be 21, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to actually subtract these two numbers, okay? You're going to subtract 52 minus 91, and you're going to uh, do 8 minus 21, okay? If you do do that, you will get an answer of negative 39 over negative 13, okay? Then after you get to this uh, this place, what you do is since uh, the numerator um, it has a negative sign and a denominator also has a negative sign, what you'll be doing is you're gonna cancel these two um, these um, 
you know, negative, uh, right, negative signs. So if you just do 13 over uh, 13 divided by uh, 39, you'll get an answer of 3. And that is the value of x. That is the value of x. The value of x for this is, is going to be third. It's going to be three. So now, how do you get how do you get the value of y? What you, what you're supposed to do is um in this case, all you do is you, you just uh you know um substitute. You, you just take one of these equations and substitute x in uh, at three into it. So you know it's a uh, three times three plus two y over thirteen. Then um you know you, you kind of solve this to um get a y. I don't have a calculator with me right now, so you don't do that. So um is everyone with me so far? Is everyone with me so far? I'm gonna wait for answers. So, yeah. uh, you understand how um it is. Yeah, so um Okay, good, good. So, um, yeah, that's basically how you do this trick. So, um, guys, I want to know, is this trick helpful? First of all, is this trick really helpful? Okay, okay, that's that's good. Well, um, yeah, you guys understood it. And, um, yeah, let, let's move on to, um, you know, practice problem number two, I guess. Oh, oh, well, why? why uh, you just have to substitute. Well, uh, you just have to. Um, I mean, I can do it right now. Um, y would equal out. Y would equal um. 13. Oh, um. Okay, so since since you got uh since you got uh, x to three, right? What you do. If you just you just um it, you know you just um substitute x into this equation you know this equation over here you just you just substitute this equation in for x right then what you get is you get this number right so what happens is uh you get nine plus two y is equal to thirteen and that would be two y equals four and that would be y equals two right. So do you understand it, Akash? Yeah, yeah, I still understand. Okay, so um, yeah, that's basically how you guys do it. So let's let's move on to um, you know, problem number two. So instead of deleting it now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move this over. So if anyone has any questions later, then they can ask. Bobby, I'm gonna meet him. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, um. Really comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So three times three is not right? So actually, I love you, Poppy. Yeah, okay, wait, okay. So three times three is nine, right? Nine, two, why? Stop, stop singing. Um, one sec. Let me mute everyone. So yeah. Okay, so um, so do, okay. First of all, did you uh do you understand the concept that y uh, nine plus two x is equal to thirteen? Do you understand where we got that from? Okay. No. Um. Okay, then. Um. Then I would have to actually, you know, go to the next. Okay. So. Okay. So okay. Third. Okay. So three. Okay, you can agree that three is equal to uh, or, uh, x is equal to three, right? So let's take this equation, okay? Three x plus two y equal to thirteen, right? So since since x is equal to three and there's an x over here, can you agree that this x can be written as three? Yeah, and 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 what does three x mean, right? Three x means three times x right so this whole thing just becomes three times three because we agreed that three is x and x is three so three times three okay then then it's just two plus two y 
we see we don't know why yet. Like we we don't know what why is. So we're just gonna leave that as, as just a one, okay? Then what is all of this equal to? This all of this equals to thirteen, right? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So what's three times three? Okay, nine, right? So you're just gonna simplify this, okay? You're gonna simplify this this uh, whole thing into this, right? Simplify it. And you're not going to do any math, right? You're just simplification, okay? Just 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2y equals 13. So do you understand it so far? No, no, no. No, no, no. Because, because 2y, 2y is equal to 2 times y. And we don't know what y is yet, so we can't do anything because these, 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 like these, um, two, um, like these kind of values are paired. We can't really do anything to them, so that's the reason why we did this. So, do you understand that? Wait, um, if we don't know what y is, then how is it? How then how is the answer thirteen? Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it's because it's because from like oh, we we got that from this over here. Remember. Remember, this was one of our equations, right? This was one of our equations. This is this is one of the equations that they gave us. Like they, they gave it to us. We didn't have to do any math to get them, right? Uh, they gave this to us, right? Yes. So that's how I got thirteen, right? They gave it to us, so we didn't have to do any any math to get it, right? Mhm. Mm so so everybody clear on how we got nine plus two y is equal to thirteen? How we got that, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of do like you're gonna solve this equation. Okay. You're gonna solve this equation. So how you're gonna solve it is um anyone anyone know PIMDOS? Anyone who heard of PIMDOS? You're gonna do the reverse of PIMDOS. How it's gonna be is that you're gonna do addition subtraction first. Then you're gonna do multiplication division first. Then you're gonna do exponent and parentheses first. Or start, okay. So number one, number two, number three, okay. So you're gonna do it like that, okay. So since you're gonna do PIMDOS uh, in the other way, what would you do first? Would would you uh, would you first divide two from both sides, or would you subtract nine from both sides? Which one did you, would you guys do first? So oh, um I don't hear any answers, but um you, you should uh yeah exactly you subtract first. Subtract. So since since it's a nine over here, right? Since it's a nine over here, what you do is even though you don't see you don't see anything in the, in its front, right? Just having a nine is is like having a nine is the same thing as having plus nine, right? So then it's plus nine, and you're supposed to do the opposite of uh, what you did. You're supposed to subtract nine from this side. And subtract nine from this side also, right? So uh, how like why we do this is that um we kind of divide this uh, equation into two, right? So this is gonna be part one, and this is gonna be part two, right? So think of this as a balance beam, right? So think of this as a balance beam, okay? And think of this as a balance beam, and think of part one as over here, right? And part two over here, right? So we we always want these two equations to be balanced as as balanced as possible, right? We want it to be exactly balanced, right? So let's say you take nine. Okay, so let's say you take nine pounds from this this side, right? What's gonna happen if you take nine pounds from this side? This side is gonna lose. This this side is gonna be nine nine pounds heavier, right? So how it's gonna be is this uh, this side is gonna you know uh, come down this side's gonna go up, right we don't want we want to have it so that it's absolutely equal these two these two uh, parts of the equations are absolutely equal right so what we do is since since we subtracted nine from this we add nine to this right we add nine to this right. So that's the reason why since we have a nine over here, we since we have a plus nine over here, we would subtract nine over here, right? So if we do subtract nine, what's gonna happen is of course plus nine minus nine is gonna cancel out. And we'll get an answer of two y equals um, 13 minus nine is gonna be four, right? So everyone understands, everyone understands why 
how we got to to y equals 14 right everyone understands that right yes so would y be two what would y be two no 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 why would not be two because because y is this two is paired to the y right so we can't just say y is equal to y is equal to two because this is paired to y so we can't say that so then what we would do is we would also do um this we would also uh, try to do the opposite of PEMDAS, right so the next thing we should do in PEMDAS is uh, multiplication and division right so this two times y is equal to four what we we would do is we would divide two from both sides oh sorry 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 four four okay we would divide two from both sides okay if we divide two from both sides what we will get is two divided by two is one so it's basically just cancelled out now what we get is we get an answer of what, what's what's four divided by two is going to be two right because two times one is two two times two is four so y would equal two at this so you guys understand that um so um yeah for this equation let me go back to the equation that uh, we came from so for this system of equation what's gonna be the so for this system of equations what's gonna be the answer is the answer is going to be x is equal to 3 y sorry, y is equal to 2 so everyone understands that everyone we're all on the same page right we're all on the same page right yes okay so for those of you who don't know how to do this 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 class will be extremely extremely important because i can bet you 100 percent as you as you move on like uh, as you go to your sixth or seventh grade or something like that you will learn this and you will be a, you will be able to um you know do this right so this class will be extremely extremely important okay? well for me i'm in ninth grade so maybe we'll do good on the sat oh yeah sure this will be good on the, wait you're in ninth grade and um yeah i just finished eighth grade oh um uh, do, do you do you do you understand how to do this yes i understand okay that's fine that's good guys that's really good so is, is it okay if i like you know i'll clear all of this out because there's actually a lot of material and um is it okay if i clear all of this to you guys if everybody understands it then yeah but if right. some people understand we should keep it yeah actually yeah i'm just gonna keep it but okay we're gonna move on to Oh, uh, practice problem number two, or um, yeah, well, teaching problem number two. Our teaching problem number two is gonna be like you know, kind of the same. It's gonna be three x plus two y equals twenty four, and eight x plus three y equals two fifty. That's gonna be our question. So we would take we would do the same steps right so in this case we were first our first step is to kind of figure out what the main numbers are right so the main numbers in this uh, i'm just going to box this so you know this is the this is the question right and the main numbers in this uh question is going to be main numbers it's going to be two y and 3y so everyone got that because the 2y and 3y are the middle numbers so they're going to be our main numbers right our next step is going to be uh taking an x over here doing x equals and doing a big division sign okay so now what do we do so um if you guys remember the um pattern it's going to be a upside down v and a normal right what we do is we take this uh, middle number, this top middle number, and multiply it by 50. And if we do multiply by 50, we'll get an answer of 100. Okay? We'll get an answer of 100. Then what we go ahead and do is to do 2 times 8. And 2 times 8 will be 16, so we do a 16 below. Then our next step is going to be mm, targeting our 
practice uh, or um, our main number number two, and it's going to be um, multiplying 24 times three. 24 times three is going to be 70, 72, yes, 72. And after that, how it's going to be is it's going to be uh, three times three, which is going to be nine, right? After we get this, what we do is we subtract the we just add a subtraction sign, and this will be our answer. Okay. So what it'll be is it'll be exactly twenty nine over seven, which will be four. So x is equal to four. Four is equal to x. So you guys understand that so far? You guys understand how we got um four? Um, uh, can you repeat that, please? 28 over 7? Oh, yeah, I think I made a mistake over there. Yeah, thank you for that. But yeah, it'll be 28 over 7. That would be 4. Thank you. So, yeah, that's good, guys. We should, um, you know, now I think we're going to move on to our trick number two. So I'm, I'm just curious, guys. How many of you all know... What foil is? Have you guys heard of the trick foil? Um, yeah, have you guys? Heard of it? Um, I see two answers. They said no, and um. Yeah, yes, I've heard of it. foil. Yeah. Okay. One person. Yes. So yes. Can I ask? Can I ask something? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Uh, what did this trick do? Like what? It, what did it do? Like oh, the foil it, trick. The foil trick. I know how to do it. Yeah, like um, the trick we learned just now. Like how to find the x and y and the equation. Oh um um. Okay, so this would actually help in like SAT and stuff. So like in SAT, what we'd have to do is you would have to find like it, they they'll give you two equations like this, right? They'll give you two equations like this. And they'll ask you to find out what's the, okay. They'll be like, they'll be like, okay, the first equation is three, three x plus two y equals twenty four, and the second equation is eight x plus three y is equal to fifty, right? They'll be like, find x and y. Okay, so find x and y. The, this is the question. Okay, that's what they'll say in the SAT or stuff like that, right? So this is a trick to find x and also. Y. Okay, you kind of understand that. Yes. Okay. So, wow, I'm surprised. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know how to foil. I'm actually surprised because that's a really, really, really um popular, huge popular trick, and um yeah, it's just really, really popular. So, um, well, that's 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 fine, guys. We can always learn. Well, yeah, we we will learn how to do foil. So, what foil is used for? Basically, let's say you have to multiply x plus 2 and oh, x plus 2 and x minus 7 okay so let's say you have the equation and, and they'll say find uh, they'll say they'll say simplify this or actually um they'll say find the quadratic equation of this right so you guys are familiar with quadratic equations um, I, I know what it was yeah Okay, um, yeah. So I'm familiar with quadratic equations. You don't know what quadratic equations are? I know. Oh, okay, okay, you know, sorry. Yeah, I'll just... Okay, so if you know what quadratic equations are, guys, so we'll, we'll get started. So let's say, so let's say, um, you you have a problem like this, and you're told to change it to, in, uh, to change it to like this, right? X plus B. So let's say you have this, and you're asked to change it to this form. How would you do it? That's what that's where FOIL comes in. So what how you would do it is FOIL basically stands for FOIL basically stands for um, FOIL stands for first first well, front right first the front O stands for outer. I stands for inner, and L stands for last. Okay, so I'm gonna need you guys to memorize this. I'm gonna like work. I'm gonna need you guys to memorize this because you know, like, trust me. even after you go to college, even after college, this foil method you will use foil method. 
Like you can mark my words. You even if you go to college, even if you get a job, even if you're like a astronomer or like an astrophysicist, right? You will still use foil. So I'm gonna teach you guys just how to use foil. So the first step in foil is first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the you're gonna take these two and consider them as one, right? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take you're gonna take the you're gonna multiply the first the first um kind of of oh, values of these two. About, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One. I'm sorry to interrupt, but like mm -hmm. with the first with the foil thing, like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just. I think would it be like better like if if you like if you put them each of the like F in like a different color and then O O and then I and L in a different color, like if you're teaching it when um, you're teaching different it. color. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's great. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll do it in different colors, I guess. Okay. Actually, I only have three colors available on this whiteboard thing. So um, one of my colors is going to be like, um, so first, so for first, I'm going to use just black. For um, second, I'm going to use, um, gr uh, I'm going to use blue. Third, I'm going to use uh, red. And fourth, I'm going to use a combination of blue and red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Music foundation of blue and red. Okay, so let's let's do it. So first, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use this tree, right? So what we're gonna do is first is gonna be you're gonna take the first values of these two um equations, and you're gonna multiply them, right? So the first of these two equations is gonna be x and x, right? So we're gonna multiply x times x, which is gonna give you an answer of x squared, right? X squared. Now we go to the outer part of our thing right so outer how it's going to be is outer is going to be one second so outer how are you going to do outer is you're going to take this um oh god sorry we're going to take these two and outer what you're going to do is you're going to take these two numbers okay They're gonna multiply these two numbers. So in in first, what you did is you uh, multiply these two numbers, which are first. Right? These two numbers, which are first. For outer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply the outermost numbers. Okay? You're gonna out uh, multiply outermost numbers. So the outermost numbers are going to be x and negative seven. And that's gonna give you an answer of negative seven x. Right. Next, we go to inner. We go to inner. Inner is going to be these two numbers. Because these two numbers are inside. They're kind of in inner, right? They're kind of in an in inner position. So multiply these two numbers. If you multiply these two numbers, you're going to answer of 2 times x, which is going to be plus 2x, right? Then the last, last step is going to be last. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply the last numbers. Okay. Actually, let me do it in. Um, you're going to multiply these last numbers. Okay. If you do multiply these two last numbers, you're going to get an answer. You're going to get an answer of negative 7 times 2. You're going to get an answer of negative 7 times 2. Okay. Yeah, so that would be negative 14. Okay. That would be negative 14. So everyone bit me so far? Everyone understand how we got how we got um, all these numbers so far? Yes. Everyone, yes. Okay, good, good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole equation and simplify it, right? What we're going to do is we're going to get um, x squared. But now is the tricky part. So because negative negative uh, 7x and 2x are kind of like the same method, right? It's kind of a number, no matter like positive or negative number, and it's an x, right? What we do is we combine these two numbers. So if we combine these two numbers, it'll be um, negative 7x 
plus 2x, right? It'll be negative 7x plus 2x. And that will give you an answer of negative uh, 5x. Negative 5x. Then it's just taking negative 14. And you are done. That is your answer. That is how you go from a method like this to this form. So, uh, what, what we call this form is we call it as a x squared plus b x plus c and in this case um x squared would just be one x squared so a would be one b would be negative five and c would be negative 14. oh everyone get it so far everyone's everyone's um you know comfortable with foil everybody's like fine good. that is good guys that is good that's good, guys. We're going to be um, practicing one more mm, kind of practice problem, I guess. So let's let's get started. With this. I'm kind of move this over here. Uh, you can still see for you. Oh, well, now how it's gonna be is um this is your answer, guys. Two x plus three. And multiplied by three x plus. So um yeah, please put your answers in the chat, guys. I know it takes a couple of minutes when I first learned it. But, yeah. Okay, I see one answer. I'm just gonna wait for like three more, or I'm gonna wait for three answers. So we'll get started. Yeah, I just need one more. Okay, good. Oh, actually, that's the same person, actually. So I'm just going to wait for, like, one more person. You know what? It's fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, fine, you guys. We'll just go straight into it. So first, what you would do is you would do first, right? So first would always be 2x times 3x. The 2x times 3x, how you do it is, how would you do, is uh, you would do uh, first 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is going to be, of course, 6. And it's going to be x times x, which is going to be x squared, right? It's going to be these two. So next, our outer is going to be these, and these two numbers. And that's going to be 2x minus, times minus 1. And that's going to be minus 2x. Okay. Our next step is going to be inner. So inner is going to be these two numbers. Inner. And that's going to be 3 times 3x. That's going to be plus 9x. Then our last step is last. It's going to be last. It's going to be last. So it's going to be 3 times negative 1. And that's going to give us an answer of negative 3. Right? And if we do simplify all of this, simplify all of this, it'll still be 6x squared. It'll be plus, plus 7x minus 3. Yes, that is the answer, guys. Everyone comfortable with that? Everyone, like, you know, comfortable and stuff with that? Yes. That's really good. That's really good, guys. That's good. So now that we are com we are officially completed with our teaching portion of the time, now let's move on to our, our review session of class. Our review session is, as usual, it's going to be our review, to, uh, review of our first trick. And our review um, problem of first trick is going to be 2x plus 2y to 18 
and 3x is going to be 49. So I'm going to wait for a couple more people. Wait, um, this is X or Y? Um, this is the first string. Um, someone someone said a V. Yes, said a, a, a bit confusing, but yes. Um, a V. What's con what's confusing? Um, I mean, I, I can I can maybe like clear it up for you if you want. Like, and someone else said, "Oh, uh, makes a bit of sense." So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask me. Wait, so are we solving for x or y in this equation? Uh, well, I mean, we're you're primarily solving for y, but or x, but you can solve for y if you want. You're primarily solving for x, but you do you, if you want to, you can solve for y. Oh, okay. Well, the steps are so long, it's hard to remember. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of a bad thing. As as you like progress through grades, like as you go to like sixth, seventh, and eighth, and stuff like that, it just becomes harder and harder and harder, and like the steps become longer and longer and longer. So that's kind of the reason why it's kind of long. But um, yeah. and guys, please don't forget to put in your answers in the chat, guys. I will not like I'll, I'll, I'll kind of not move ahead if you guys don't. I see one answer, really good, really good answer. I see one. And and once again, you don't have to, you don't have to like put in Y. You can just put in X. Okay, I see two. I'm gonna wait for at least five. I know we're running low on time, but um, Akash said he did it in his head. Yeah, real good job, good job. Yeah, really good. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Good job, guys. Good job. Now we'll move it on how to actually solve this. Our main numbers is, are going to be a uh, 2y and you know I'm not I'm not gonna write like main number again because like you know you guys are not little kids anymore. You guys are like you know middle schoolers, right? So that's yeah, middle and high schoolers. So. Yeah, let's let's do it. So um, first, take the top number. Two, and we multiply that by 49 and that would give us an answer of 98 okay. that one would be two, three times two which gives us an answer of six you know what we do is we take this bottom number over here we multiply it by 14 times 18 that would be give us an answer of 252 and we'll also do it uh 14 times two which would be um 18 or no sorry 28 and we would just subtract this and we will get a answer of x is equal to 7 i think all of you guys got this right and that's really really good and again y will be equal to x or y will be equal to um two. Well, that's good guys let's move on to our next um uh, review session i guess review problem yeah our next problem is going to be 2x plus 5y is going to be 33, and x plus 3y is going to be 20, or 40, um, no, actually 19. I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, please put in your answers in chat. I'm going to be waiting for five answers. Wait, so you didn't put anything, any number, you just put x. Yeah, I just put x. It, like it, first, you just put x is equal to just that. Okay. Yeah, Akash. Um, Akash, he has to go. He has school. Yeah, bye, Akash. All right, bye. Thank you for joining. Bye. All right, bye. And actually, guys, um, in the end, uh, in the end, uh, actually, what I want to do is I, I want to kind of take a picture of everyone. Um, I'm, I'm gonna enable tile view, and I'm gonna take kind of take a picture of everyone. So is that is that okay for you guys? I mean, you don't you don't have to you don't have to turn off your on your camera. You like your logo is just fine. So if you guys are fine with it, then um, uh, yeah, please do. And we're we're gonna be putting this on the uh, on on our website. So you know, we just want like you know something that oh okay, yeah, we got people. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, yeah, I think I see um 
little answers. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's see on how to actually solve this. So first, it's gonna we're gonna oh wow okay that was bad. First, we're gonna take this number, multiply it by nineteen. That's gonna give us an answer of ninety five. Then we do five times one, which is gonna be five. Then we take this number over here, multiply it by thirty three. That's gonna give us an answer of ninety nine. We take this number, multiply it by 2, which is going to give us an answer of 6. What we get? Well, we'll get an answer of minus 4 over minus 1. And since we have minuses, two minuses on uh, numerator and denominator, we can cancel that. And we'll get an answer of 4 is equal to x, guys. You guys understand that? Um, everyone, I think, I think everyone got it right. So that's really, really good, guys. Good, good, good. Hey, guys. We are going to uh, transition from our first trick to our second trick. So let's, let's move on, I guess. So our second trick, um, actually, I only have one practice problem for this. So I'm going to kind of wait for a lot of people. I'm going to wait for like, you know, six, seven people to put in their answers. So um, I can really be sure that all of you guys got this. Um, That is going to be your um, question, and your question is going to be change it to this form. You're going to have to change it from over here to over here. So I'm going to wait for um, a lot of people to put in their answers. I mean, guys, I see 18 people in the chat, or, or 18 people in the meeting, but only like, you know, three or four people are putting their answers. So please, guys, just put in their answers. Please, guys, uh, that'd be really, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I see three answers, guys. That is good. That's really, really good, guys. I'm kind of tired, too. Okay, I see four. And guys, also, uh, I want to tell you about this. So, um, on our website, we're planning to put kind of like a testimonial. We're kind of putting like a uh, review, uh, like a review page on our website, just like customer satisfaction, customer like reviews and stuff. So, um, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making a Google Doc or I'm making a Google form on um, you know, um, put it put it like uh, giving feedback to us. Please, please, I highly suggest, please, guys, please put in your um, please put in um, your things on the um, like put in your feedback on there and um yeah so we'll go ahead and see how to solve so how we're going to solve this is basically it's going to be first right so first is going to be x squared right? next is going to be uh, outer and outer is going to be um x um actually yeah outer is going to be x times five so it's going to be five x then it's going to be inner which is going to be three x then it's going to be left, which is going to be 15. It's going to be 3 times 5. And that's going to equal to x squared plus 15x plus 15. Um, I think all of you guys, let me check it back. I think all of you guys got this right. Really, 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 really good, guys. Really good, guys. Uh, why was it 15x? Oh, 15x because um since it's last right so the last thing is last it would be three three times five it'll be three times five and three times five of course i know but uh, it says x squared plus 15x oh not 15 i'm sorry not 15 good catch wow thank you guys thank you so much yeah it won't be 15 it'll be five eight it'll be eight x it'll be eight x sorry 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 yeah, thank you, thank you guys, thank you so much. Yeah, I think I think that will be our um, you know, that'll be our that end of our um course, I guess, for today's class. And oh uh, guys, don't leave yet, please just wait tight. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be turning on a tile view. And uh, if you guys want, if you guys want, you can uh let me stop my screen for a moment. Yeah, if you guys want. You can you can um uh, turn on your camera. So I I would uh like for you like I mean uh like if you guys.